I definitely know a fake clap when I hear one. <laughs> hey, there it is. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. So I really appreciate this experience. This is fun. Uh, I, I was called from a friend to talk about a music story. And a little bit like the last gentleman, I didn't think I had one. So I just sat and thought about it. Suddenly, I remembered, oh, goodness gracious. I'll talk over here. I remember this story that happened to me a little bit ago. You see, I'm 40 years old. I'm a middle-aged man who's married with kids. So life is different than it was 20 years ago. I wake up early and very tired every morning <laughs> to get lunches going, to get the kids to school on time, to pull out and go to work. And sometimes I like to stay in shape, so I go to the LA Fitness to do a little cycling, because that's what middle-aged people do when they're looking for a quick, early morning routine of exercise. That's really the only reason I go there. So one morning, about two years ago, I go to the LA Fitness in Hollywood to do my morning cycling routine. I've got crust in my eyes. My face is still swollen from just waking up. And I don't mind the music that early. It's good, it gets you going. You know a little ACDC back in black? Sure, let's pump it up. But I learned that morning that there is a time and a place for every song. Some songs are really good. They can transcend multiple time and places. But this morning, as I began to cycle and the, two, the, the instructor came out, she said, all right, class, let's get up on your bikes and start pedaling. I'm going to put some music on so we can really start digging in here. And suddenly this song came on. Had a nice little, it was like, the beat was with my heart. It's like, okay, I, I can dig this, I can do this. And the lyrics came on, very subtle. This woman came on rapping, and she said, lick my neck, lick my back, lick my pussy, lick my crack. <laughs> suck my dick, suck my balls, sing it in the ass. And I'm looking around like, what is happening right now? It is 7 o'clock in the morning. I don't know whose balls and butts are being eaten at 7 in the morning. I'm just trying. And I look to my left, and of course, there's this 22-year-old blonde in yoga pants. And I, I was like, I, I wanted to look at her like, do you hear what I'm hearing? But I'm thinking maybe I shouldn't make eye contact with her because that's like, everything's just so weird. And she looks at me and she goes, hey, what's up? How you doing? You getting loosened up? And that's when I realized I am middle-aged. I mean, what, what, what happens from here? I don't know. This is, this is now. But what about when I'm 60 and I go to do a spin class? What is that song going to be like? <laughs> I'm afraid. But I learned right then and there that there's definitely, I mean, look, Saturday night, 2 AM, I'm in the middle of the dance floor. I'm so drunk, I could barely stand up. And that song comes on. Perfect. That's the time. That's the place. But not in spin class at 7 in the morning. So I don't know. I, I called the manager, and I said, listen, I don't think, uh, I, I don't know what's happening who, uh, if you're doing checks with these people. And he goes, well, what was the song? And I go, I, I don't know it. I, 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 I don't know it, <laughs> but I can give you the lyrics. <laughs> All right, yeah, give me the lyrics. And so, yeah, I'm not going to burn your ears with it again, but I gave him the crack and the sucking and all this. I gave it to him, and uh, he didn't seem to care. So <laughs> there you go. Welcome to L.A. And that's my music story, so thank you very much. <laughs>